Hello there and welcome to your very first tutorial in Require.js JavaScript library. So in this tutorial series we'll be learning about everything that is related to Require.js like what is Require.js and why would you use that in your projects and all about its syntax and its usage, best practices, compressing your code with r.js and all that good stuff. So to begin with, let me just tell you what Require.js is actually. So if you look at their official website, it says that Require.js is a JavaScript file and module loader. It is optimized for in-browser use but it can be used in another JavaScript environments like Rhino and Node. Using a modular script loader like Require would improve the speed and quality of your code. Well that wouldn't help a lot if you are very new to JavaScript or you just know the basics but what they're trying to say here is that Require.js kind of packages all of your JavaScripts in one JavaScript file and basically makes it easier for you to manage how the JavaScript files are loading. So for instance let's say you are using some um, framework let's say bootstrap and you are using a lot of script files here like that 1.js, 2.js, 3, 4, 5 and so on and so forth. So what would happen eventually is that let's say you want to make a change to any one of these files and let's just say this file has some variables which are used by this file and then somehow you you know just introduce another file and you kinda mess up everything so what happens is that this file is loaded before this file uh, but this file has some variables for this file so what happens is that actually there are some uncaught errors because a function is not defined which is called by another file so you know that is kinda creating a lot of mess out of it so for that requires comes to rescue and what it does is it would nicely require you just a one single file right here script src and we'll be looking at that what it would be and using that you can manage everything nicely and neatly without creating any fuss so requires not only does that but if you use that on the server side which we'll be looking at in later tutorials you can actually compress your JavaScript and CSS before sending it to the user and that is using node.js and we'll be looking at, the, at that later on so yeah so that was all about introduction to require.js and I hope to see you soon there so don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching